I am welcome to this uh, crash course in how to make sites with WordPress. Okay, let's start from the top. Um, if you have like HTML and PHP or CSS files, HTML, CSS and JavaScript and those kinds of think, you can just run them in the web browser. Uh, you don't need anything else. All you need is a web browser. Uh, and this is because that the web browser has a component that can read and understand and therefore render the content of the HTML file. So if you have a HTML file and some style sheet in a CSS file and maybe some scripting in a JavaScript file, you can just, all you need is a web browser and you can... Uh, fix things quite neat. But what we're going to do here is to get a grip of how WordPress is working. WordPress is a very good publishing system that consists of a big bunch of PHP files and a database connection to a MySQL database server. So, how does this thing work then? PHP files is what, uh, what everything is about in WordPress. Everything in WordPress is a bunch of PHP files working together. So PHP, PHP files is uh, not, not HTML files. There are two different kinds of files. So if you have like an HTML file, you can, as I said, just look at it in the browser. But if you, on the other hand, have a PHP file, the file itself contains things that has to be parsed, things that has to be interpreted. And this interpretation is done within a web server. So we need a web server to be able to, to handle WordPress and do things with WordPress. Where this uh, web server is located, whether it's located in Brazil or in Spain or on your own computer, is of no importance at all. So what we'll be doing here today is to install a web server on our local machine and uh, take it from there. So PHP is a web server scripting language. That is a sort of scripting language that is used on the web server. If you and your, let's say that you and your friend are both visiting Facebook and uh, you log into Facebook and you look at the pages you get. If you look at your page and on your friend's page, you'll see that they are very different. They, they contain different information. They look different. And this is because that PHP is run on, uh, on, um, on uh, Facebook. Facebook is a web page that uses PHP as a scripting language. If uh, I log into Facebook, the PHP files in Facebook will look at my settings and my data and uh, construct uh, like build a web page just for me. If my friend goes there uh, and uh, visit the same PHP files, the PHP files will then generate content that is good for my friend instead. So PHP is a scripting language and uh, Facebook is using uh, PHP. A number of other websites are using PHP. That's probably because PHP is uh, one of the one of or the greatest uh, scripting languages to use in a web server. So uh, what we'll be doing today is to learn a little about PHP, what it is, and uh, why we need a web server to be able to run our WordPress sites. So the goal is today to make a WordPress site and that is exactly what we're supposed to do here. So if we jump into the web browser on uh, this particular machine, we need to install a web server. There are a big bunch of different web servers out there. The number, the 
two of the greatest web servers are a web server called Apache and the other one is called Microsoft Internet Information Services. Uh, to be able to use uh, the web server, we'll be using the Apache web server. And um, I'm talking and clicking here. Uh, what we need is uh, some kind of package that contains the web server and uh, I will I'll say what I'm doing in just a moment. What we'll need is a web server and we'll need support for the PHP scripting language and we'll need a big bunch of other things. We'll probably would like to have a database server because uh, WordPress needs a web server and it needs that web server to have support for PHP and it needs a database server called MySQL. So WordPress consists of a big bunch of PHP files, a bunch of HTML files, lots of style sheets and database connections to a MySQL server. All of this uh, is inside XAMPP. There, there is lots of web servers out there and uh, so on. Uh, XAMPP is a package containing the web server and support for the PHP language. It also has a built-in database server called MySQL and uh, it's got everything we need. It also contains something called PHP My Admin, which is a web-based administration tool for handling the, the MySQL web server. So XAMPP is the shit because it contains everything we need to make a WordPress website. So um, that's why it's uh, continuing to installing here in the background. It takes a little while for it to get finished because there are a huge number of files that has to be copied to the computer to, to install this package there. So there is lots of files, but it will soon be ready, I guess, and I hope. And I'll just take a sip of water right now from my beloved Kobe Kotiet can here. Cheers. <clears throat> installing, 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 installing. And uh, it's getting closer to ready. Can talk about some other things in in uh, in this uh, web business we're jumping ourselves into. Uh, we are dealing with uh, installing the web server so that we can run our websites, and the websites that will be running will use uh, WordPress. WordPress is a great tool for handling this. And now we can stop talking because the setup is ready. So the setup is asking me if I want to install the control panel and I sure would like that. So what we'll have here is a, let's choose English because my German is sucky at best. Let's close the Explorer window and here we have the XAMPP control panel. With this program we can start and stop and configure our web server and without any configuration let's click the start button to start the Apache web server and we can see that it's listening on port 80 and point port 443. Point 80 Port 80 is the normal web port and 443 is the secure web port. We'll, we, we're not going to use that one. I also would like to have my database server up and running. So I'm pressing the start button on also the database server. I get a question here uh, asking if we want to allow access to that thing. I sure would like that. So I can see that we have a green light on the Apache and the green light on the MySQL. So let's try this. 
let's jump into the web browser and uh, surf to let's make this real let's erase that uh, let's surf to http colon slash slash local host and we can see that we have successfully installed XEMPP for Windows, that is. So here we have all the things needed to run this. I can click on PHP My Admin, which will take me to the localhost PHP My Admin website. Here I have everything I need to handle the database connections and stuff. And let's jump back to the, um, to the, uh, well, while in PHP, my admin, sorry about the Swedish around here. That wasn't, <laughs> that wasn't good, you know? Anyway, here in the middle, it says user accounts. Maybe you can see on the icon, it says user accounts. You'll just have to trust me on this one. Uh, I would like to add an account here. So I press the new, it says there, and add a user or something like it will pop up in there. Stupid, it got into in Swedish mode. Anyway, the username, let's say that we want to call ourselves uh, uh, web guy. And uh, the password, let's say web guy as a password. Also, extremely weak password. Don't use this at home. And let's type in web guy again. And let's never forget that the the username and the password is web guy. And now I would like to have a. It says here, create database with the same name and uh, allow all privilege to this user to this table so uh, i would i pressed add user i type in a username and a password in this case web guy and uh, i check the box uh, create database with the same name and stuff and on the bottom of the page well let's hit the go button there so now we have a user account for my web guy and uh, I can just log out of the PHP my admin by pressing the logout button and take me back to the local host. So uh, what we'll have here now is a web server and we also have a database server up and running. Uh, all we need to do now is to get a hold of the WordPress. So let's point the web browser to wordpress.org and click download WordPress and download WordPress. Uh, WordPress is uh, for now about nine megabytes, hardly almost nine megabytes. So it's a very small package containing lovely things uh, right now the version is 494 this we want to extract so let's open up the wordpress file that contains uh, everything we need let's put it there and now we're going to extract this i'll jump back to my explorer window and click this pc and local disk I can see I have a folder here called, called XAMPP. Click that one. And I have a bunch of stuff, but I do have a folder called htdocs. This is the folder that everything in uh, everything without my everything about my web stuff is. So I drag the WordPress file onto the htdocs folder and uh, look at all the beautiful file names here while it's um, extracting all of the files that uh, make up of uh, wordpress so uh, while it's uh, packing up stuff in the background it will probably 
keep on working for about 20 25 seconds i would guess uh, so what we have done so far is that we have installed our web server the web server do have uh, support for uh, lots of different different things uh, and uh, the things we need is the support for the php script in language of course and we also need the mysql website and it's getting close to ready here so let's look at the the last time so it's copying the files like crazy here and uh, right about now i have a folder called wordpress this is the folder that contains everything within wordpress here i have all the files and stuff now i would like to install wordpress so what i do is that i surf to localhost slash wordpress uh, if we if we'd like to have another name if we don't like the name wordpress for our site we can of course in the explorer now it's now it, now the folder is called wordpress if i changed it let's say that i would like to change the change the name of this one let's rename where is rename there it is uh let's rename it to like my site instead so within hdocs i have a folder called my site and that's the wordpress site so now i surf to localhost slash my site and press enter it's waiting for wordpress to start up here there it is so the language i have a big bunch of different language to choose from let's keep it simple and uh, use the english language uh, i can change this later on if i want to uh, now we need to know a bunch of stuff and uh, we'll do will we do that the name of the database uh, we created a database called my guy and the username for connecting to the database is my guy and the password for connecting is you guessed it my guy the host is localhost and this is kind of tricky localhost means that the web server and the 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 wordpress installation and well the web server and the database server is located on the same computer that's why the host is uh, localhost meaning the same host as the web server web server and web and web server and database server is on the same the table prefix let's just leave it at that and press submit now we have a error on uh, database connection so let's try and see if we can fix that let's surf to php my admin and see what we have here we have a a database called uh, web guy and users hmm where's my users not there too bad all this is in swedish i wonder if i can change language because i can understand that it's kind of hard to to understand since everything is in swedish let's see here mysql and i do know that there is a user column there and let's see here here we have a web guy uh, with a password mm, da -da 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 host anything let's alter this and say that the host is local host instead so instead of this we type local host and we have web guy and we have a password and uh, let's not change that and uh, i should be good to go so i press the go button there let's see if this works let's jump back to the configuration have to retype the 
password? No. Okay, let's erase that. The database is called... Uh, let's say that we create a new database called like this. So database name is my site and the username is root and we have no password. This is stupid, but uh, can select that database. Okay. Database my, my site. Let's go back to the MySQL and this web guy. We can skip that. Let's instead press new and create a database, database called my site and create. Now we have a table called a, a sorry, we have a database called my site. So now everything should be up and running. Uh, we are using a blank password. Let's go security. Yay. Now we've done it at least. Let's press the run installation. So Site title is, uh, let's say, testing. We can change every all of this later. Uh, let's have a username of my site and let's have a password of my site. Uh, yes, I know that I'm using a weak password, a really bad password that is. My mail address is, uh, let's say, a.b. whatever and install WordPress. My site, my site is the username I'll use to log into my site. So here we are, and let's log in here using my site and my site, and press the login button. And here we are, our first trip to to WordPress land. Let's close that one and I see that I have an update. I can see it here and I can see it there and I can see it there. So let's press that button and I see that Akismet anti-spam plugin has been updated. So I click that plugin and press update plugins. And we are done can return to the WordPress update page or whatever, and let's press testing and visit site. So this is how our site looks like now. WordPress is up and running and uh, let's call it a day. We have, we have successfully done lots of things today. We have successfully installed a WordPress server then the, the wordpress server needed to be run on a web server so we have installed a web server called xampp we have installed that we have also installed support for php and uh, mysql database and uh, we have installed wordpress on top of that so everything is uh, up and running we can even look at how the uh, database looks like uh, as you knew we started uh, to create a site called my site and if we look at my site now we see that we have a big bunch of tables and stuff within this wordpress site so uh, within php admin we can look at all the things here if we click on the table vp users we can see that we have a user called my site and here we have the password for that user uh, that web guy table we don't need so we could actually delete that t that uh, database up here we have different uh, databases uh, all the different databases are located here and we'll be using the one called my site and uh, that one is the one we use to get a hold on our website so this is how it looks like when we have installed php in uh, in a word in a web server and uh, the word the web server is called xampp and uh, in this environment we have installed a wordpress site so uh, let's uh, let's be happy for a while and then we'll continue to 
uh, fix and tricks and look on things we can done do with our new web server. That's it.